I get that there's an agenda out there to whenever there's a terrorist attack to cover it up or to try not to say that it was Muslim terrorists or extremists or those type of things. They sort of try to hide everything. I get that. And I understand that there's an agenda out there by every group in the world. And I'm so sick of everybody being a crybaby. Everybody's a crybaby now. Um, every single buddy is a crybaby and it's hilariously disgusting. But what also is disgusting is that this poor man... Now, I understand that the man says that he believes that that his daughter was targeted for being Muslim. Listen, that doesn't excuse these disgusting comments. While the libs' heads are going to explode, an illegal immigrant kills a Muslim without a gun, how are they going to spin this one? And people attacking the man, no one cares, you are 100% sure, because the man says he's 100% sure his daughter was targeted. How the fuck, what kind of disgusting person do you have to be to attack the father? Who gives a shit what the father thinks at this point? This guy's daughter was beaten to death with a goddamn baseball bat. Okay? What the fuck? I don't care if this guy says he wants to blow people up after this. He can say whatever he wants. This guy lost his daughter. What if your daughter was beaten with a baseball bat? And don't give me that whole, well, it won't, it wouldn't happen because I have a gun and, and I don't let uh, ter- I don't let immigrants into my house or whatever. Whatever. I, I get it, dude. I get it that I agree that it is possible that obviously I don't know the facts yet. It is possible that this is gang related. It was illegal immigrants that did it, and she wasn't targeted for that reason. How do you know the gang didn't target her for that reason though? Maybe the fucking gang targeted her because she was Muslim. You know what I mean? Maybe they didn't. Maybe they did. Who cares? You could still comment without being mean to the poor fucking dad. You could say. Well, I believe he's incorrect about this. At this time of grieving, he doesn't even know what's going on right now. So anything he says, you know, at this point can be, you know, can't be taken too seriously. And I feel bad for him and I'm sorry for the family. You know, you could say that. You could say, I disagree with the dad on this, but, you know, obviously he's in a time of grieving right now and he can believe, you know, what he wants to at this point. But for people who attack this guy and treat him like shit and disregard his daughter's death, This guy's like, so an illegal alien kills a Muslim girl and the media will spin it somehow that Trump is racist and whites are to blame and all this stuff. It's like, dude, who, what? I mean, I I know that 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 has been happening and things like that, but this guy's daughter is dead from a brutal baseball bat beating. Um, How can these people be so self-absorbed that they have to jump on here so paranoid about their own shit? Um, Look at how paranoid and scared these people are. You talk about SJWs being scary and mean and bullies this is the right now being bullies and scared and mean okay i'm i'm thankful that i'm not a democrat and i'm not a republican because i have a fucking brain um crybabies are crybabies this man's daughter was killed in a baseball back attack she was hunted i don't give a fuck if this guy comes out tomorrow and says that you know he he wants to hurt people or something like i mean like the guy is out of his this guy, if you read his comments, he actually says he's going to forgive the guy that killed his daughter and and says God will take care of him and he wants to look him in the eye. Oh, my God. Like, what? Like I would be a maniac if this was my daughter. If I was this guy, I would be out looking for the... I would be just... I would be... I don't even know what I would do. I would go insane. If, the, if my daughter was beaten with a baseball bat, I would go insane. And I'm not joking. So give this guy credit and to attack him in these comment sections like this, fuck you. You're disgusting. This guy lost his daughter. You know, and and someone's out there like, oh, that excuses him being wrong and lying or whatever. It's like, um, yeah, kind of. And that's his opinion. He's not wrong and lying. His opinion is his daughter was targeted. You know, if your son was beaten by six black men with a baseball or one black man by a baseball bat, and you said, I think it was racial. Would you? Would it be okay to just treat you like shit and criticize you? If a if a if a white guy if white guys beat a black guy to death, and the and the and the father thought it was racial, would it be wrong to to get mad at him? Would it be right to get mad at him for thinking it was racial motivated or religiously motivated in this case? You know, just think about it from their point of view. You know what I mean? The guy's not out there going crazy for outrage on Islamophobia and stuff like that. He just basically said, I think they were Islamophobic. I think it was 100% why she was killed. 
Maybe the guy doesn't even know that these were gang members yet. Nobody knows yet really exactly what's going on. When the facts are brought to, to light, fine. And I get that the media could spin it. If you guys want to attack the media and attack the people that are, you know, involved in the media that, that take this on as a story, if they do, then that's fine. But God damn it, leave the father alone. The guy just lost his daughter. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about right now anyway. Um, I just think it was very rude and mean and disgusting to see people actually attack the dad like this when he was asked a question because his daughter was dead. This guy didn't ask for his daughter to be murdered with a bat so he could comment on why she was killed. So, I don't know. I just think the insensitivity is out of control here. Normally, I don't give a fuck. I'm no SJW, and I'm not one for crying and, you know, stopping people's speech and thought and whatever, and I'm not going to do that. I just think it's disappointing to see people this um, cold and despicable, and it explains what type of, you know, where we are here. People on the left are despicable and cold, and they used to be hippies, and now they're just fucking disgusting psychos, and now the right is just as uh, cold. They, they want to ignore everything if it doesn't fit their agenda, and so doesn't the left. And, uh, man, we're in, we're in fucking trouble, I'll tell you that. I'm happy I'm in the middle and I'm clear-minded, and um, I wouldn't write such terrible things about a man who just lost his daughter to a baseball bat beating to death. <laughs>